Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BJ Tech News, and yes, another MDT video. Yes, I'm going to be pushing this out uh, for a good week and a week and a half because there's so much to cover with MDT 2013, especially uh, MDT 2013 is supporting Windows 8.1 as well as Windows Server 2012 R2, so let's get started. So, uh, I think on the last video, I'll show you guys how to upgrade your 2012 update 1 to 2013, plus update your deployment shares for it to work with 2013. So I'm actually going to show you uh, importing an operating system and creating a task sequence for the operating system. So let's get started. So within my operating system, I created folder. I like creating folders to keep everything nice and organized. That's just the way I am. Uh, so I'm going to right click on operating systems and I'm create a new folder. And let's call it Windows 8.1 Pro X64 because that's what I'm importing inside of it. And I'm going to hit next. Now, because I'm using a virtual machine, I need to mount my ISO that has a 64 bit. So I'm going to right click and go to settings. And within settings, I'm going to go to CD and I'm going to browse. And I need to go into my downloads folder and I'm going to pick my Windows Pro 8.1 64 bits because I need to mount that ISO because we need to import all those files inside our MDT server. So right now I'm going to right click on the new folder that I recreated and I'm going to import an operating system. Now you get three options. The options that I'm going to actually I'm going to be picking, I'm going to be showing you guys all three options. But for this video, I'm going to do the full set of sources and files. So we're going to hit next. We're going to browse to the source directory, which is our D drive. Hit next. And uh, uh, by default, this is what it gives it. I'm going to leave it as is, but you guys could change this if you want. And let's hit next and hit next. And the process of this normally takes between, I would say, two or three minutes. And the reason why it takes two or three minutes is because it's actually taking everything from the CD or wherever you have your Windows files in. And it's pulling it and it placing it inside your MDT server. And we're back. So now the process is completed successfully. Awesome. Importing the operating system went well. And we're going to hit finish. Now, a lot of people like to do a lot of things differently. Uh, for myself, I like to create the task sequence first. And then I start doing the application. Uh, and then out of the box drivers and uh, yeah, and packages and all that stuff. Uh, so. On this video, I'm going to show you how to do a task sequence. On the following videos, I'm going to show you how to do application, out-of-the-box drivers, and all that good stuff. So uh, what you want to do is, want to get into the task sequence, right-click on it, go to New Task Sequence. Actually, I'm going to cancel this, hit Yes, and I'm actually go inside of it, because I already have one in it. And right-click, go to New Task, give it an ID. As you can see in the top right here, I got 001, so I'm going to try to keep everything consistent. So I'm going to go 0002. And uh, the name it would be BTN uh, Windows 8.1 Pro X64 Task Sequence TS, right? Uh, the naming is really up to you. It's just it depends on how you name your things. It's you know best practice in your environment. And we're gonna hit next. We're gonna do a ta we're gonna do a standard client task sequence. If you hit the drop down, there's a lot of them. Future videos, I'm going to show you each one and what it does. A popular one is the SIP prep and capture. So I haven't tested that out yet on 2013, but I will do a video for you guys. So we're going to do a standard task. Hit next. And pick your operating system. Now the operating system is our 64. And we're going to hit next. I'm not going to provide a key. And we're going to give it a name. So I'm going to go BJ Tech News. And the organization is BTN Production. Make sure I spelled it right. And my website, if you guys don't know, is bjtechnews.org. Hit next. Give it an admin. Now, guys, this admin password is the admin password for the local administrator of the machine, not your administrator password for your domain. So hit next. Hit next. And it's really fast. Hit finish, and you're good to go. You're done. So what we did on this video is we imported Windows 8.1 64-bit Pro Edition into our MDT 2013, and we created the task sequence. Uh, on thinking on the next video, guys, I'm gonna show you how to import an application. I'm gonna probably do Skype and uh, how to do an MSI because then you could do all the switches and stuff to run it quietly and silently, uh, and how to do out-of-box drivers and as well as manipulate. Uh, a task sequence. So I'm going to double click the task sequence that we created and 
manipulate this and how to manipulate the edit unintended file which is very important for a lot of people so hopefully you guys enjoy this video if you have any questions or comments leave them right below of this video at the comment section you know I'm always around always answering you guys questions also check out my Google Plus uh, site I'm always there hanging around there so if you can't find me in YouTube channel you can find me over there or at my blog site or my Twitter handle and my Facebook and my email and I have all the information at the description part so you guys can always find me if you have any questions uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and I catch you guys later Peace out.